Ready for a robot to help around the home or office? Unlimited Robotics, based in Israel, would like to introduce you to Gary. Joining us is CEO Guy Altigar. Thanks for joining us, Guy. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Fred. Well, tell us about what you're doing there at Unlimited Robotics. It sounds really interesting. So we are super excited of totally changing the game for robot developers and for consumers, both on the home environment and the business environment. We built a multi-purpose robot designed for any repetitive or boring task in your home, business, or office. So imagine you don't want to do any more dishes or clean the house anymore. You don't want to pick up the toys. Uh, you want to take out the laundry, but you want somebody else to do it for you. Now you have one. You have Gary. So if in the past, mobile devices used to have different types of functions designed mostly for interactions on the web or different types of telecommunication interactions. Now we are in a different era. We are in an era on which devices can perform different types of tasks developed by different types of developers. And in addition to that, we also offer for different types of software developers, the opportunity to start developing robot applications. Now, a robot application can be written in JavaScript or Python, just like any other mobile or web application. So we extend the usage and the option to develop different type of applications for different type of use cases. And this is what we do. So just so we can all envision this properly, this will be a, a device. It is in, in, in your home, more or less like a, an iPhone or anything else. And apps will be available for it for doing different things. And developers have the opportunity to make money as they do in selling apps for phones. Exactly. Gary, the robot currently is offered in a version of a size of a 10 year old kid. It is uh, 140 centimeters high, 50 centimeters long, and he has its own uh, caterpillar that it climb upstairs. It has two arms, three different depth camera that can take images and understand the environment. It has a touch screen in which the user can communicate with Gary. Obviously, they can also do that with a mobile app that is attached to Gary. It has an interaction LED screen on its face. So the user will be able to understand what Gary does, whether Gary is currently working on a certain task, whether Gary is downloading a software, and it has its own app store uh, on which people around the world, exactly like they do on Google Play or the App Store, the Apple App Store, they can upload different types of applications that user can install. And as far as navigating around a, a home or office, it can avoid the different obstacles that weren't there five minutes ago and things like that, the kids' toys or whatever? Exactly. And this is a big advantage for the developers and obviously for the users. At the first time Gary arrives to the environment, whether to the office or the, the home environment, the user basically guides Gary around the place. Gary understands the environment, it maps it, and from that moment on, it can navigate from one place to the other without the assistance of the user. Once the user uh, defines the different areas inside the environment, for example, this is the kitchen, this is the bedroom, this is the toilet, this is the whatever, this is the garage, Gary can go to the middle of the design area and do and start making activities from that moment on. So if the user sends Gary to the kids' room to pick up the toys, Gary understands how to get from point A to the kids' room. He gets to the middle of the kids' room. It creates some kind of a 3D modeling of the room, understand what is on the floor, and then start picking up the toys, putting them in a design area already defined in advance by the user. And you said laundry too? <laughs> okay, laundry, yes, but I have a disclaimer. It doesn't fall the laundry yet. 
It will take out the laundry from the laundry machine and can place it, let's say, somewhere else in a different type of machine, in the dryer, or in a designed area by the user. It can take out the clothes and place them in the stores or in the cabinet or in the drawer as the user predefined it in advance. In 2023, we may offer an application that helps to fold the laundry, but currently it's a bit challenging for even for Gary. So where are you today in terms of having this ready to, to put in the hands of customers? So we are offering uh, a waiting list uh, on which people can save a spot for $99 uh, and get Gary by spring 2022. Around mid of March to April 2022, they will get the device to their homes and the device will come with different types of apps as explained they can install whatever apps designed for them or, or fit for them. And we expect Gary to be open for the public in summer 2022, maybe in winter 2022. But currently in our lab, there are Gary's, there are operational robots, uh, and we will upload videos for the public to see them in the near future. Uh, but yes, it's definitely in preparation ready to, to, to be delivered in spring 2022 to the customers who are registered on the waiting list. Now tell us about uh, how the uh, business model is going to work. What consumers and, and businesses will be paying for this? Okay, so consumers can choose between two types of plans. The one-time payment plan of $5,900, they can purchase Gary and just use it as they wish, or they can do installments or subscription basis on which they pay $99 per month. Without derogating from the above, they can also pay or purchase uh, different types of application based on the their paid or free uh, plan as decided by the developer who uploaded those applications. Exactly like they do on their iPhones or on their Google Pixel, they can choose whether to purchase different type of applications or use the free plans as offered by the developers. Will it come with some built-in capabilities that I don't have to pay extra for? So yes, currently we design it to come with obviously the mapping and the navigation uh, activities around the house. It can bring you stuff from one place to the other. Yes, we still need to define exactly what type of stuff it will bring from one place to the other. It will take. It will mostly take uh, some kind of a vacuum cleaner or a broom and can clean their house. And this will be the basic functionalities and applications that it will come with. But obviously the app market will be free uh, to use. There will be different type of um, um, multimedia gaming uh, types of applications designed for people with disabilities or for teenagers, for the elderly, different type of communications already installed as they are already installed in different types of mobile devices. So yes, the answer to your question is yes. It will come with several basic apps that will arrive with Gary. Is there a particular market segment that you're focused on at the outset here? So we are focusing on three types of segments, obviously the end user, the consumers, the home environments. We also focusing on hospitality. And when we say hospitality, we refer to uh, people with beat bed and breakfast uh, hotels or boutique hotels, people who are leasing their apartments on Airbnb, uh, hotels, obviously, motels, uh, nursing homes, or other type of activity, lodges and something uh, that, that offer different type of hospitality activities and they need the cleaning services, the sanitation, the organization and all those type of applications that they can use and, and get value from. And the third segment is hospitals and helping people with disabilities um, with their day-to-day -day activities. So it's the consumers, hospitals, hospitality and hospitals and people with disabilities, helping them with their day-to-day -day activities around their environments. 
And this will go back, I assume, to a charging port the way a, a Roomba does today? Exactly the same. It has a docking station, once Gary, which can operate for uh, uh, straight eight hours. Uh, understands that its battery is about to run out. It signals to the user that uh, the robot is about to finish the task or finish the battery, whatever comes first, and then comes back to the docking station, charging itself and can work again and again and again. And the, the charging takes about how long? So the charging for full battery takes between six to eight hours, depends on, on, on the situation, but for a full-time battery, it takes between six to eight hours. So typically you're envisioning this would, the recharging would take place overnight, auto exactly. automatically. Exactly. Kind of thing. So how did this come about? What's the story behind it? <laughs> okay, there's an interesting story. Um, to be honest, I had enough, I have three kids and Gary's name is uh, based on the first letters of each of my first kid. So it's Gali, Rani, and Yael. Both of them uh, combines for Gary. Um, and I had enough with picking up their toys, chasing after them, taking the laundry from their room. And I said to myself like a year and a half ago, I want to build a device that, that cleans after them. I don't want the hustle. I want to sit in the living room reading a book and I want somebody else to do that. And I say, well, I can probably build something uh, with Arduino or other, you know, Raspberry Pi or something very simple to do that. And I couldn't. And then I, I asked myself, okay, there probably be something like Wix or, or some kind of a shelf product, which I can just drag and drop the code and plan it by myself. And once I couldn't find it, I said, okay, here's an idea. I will build it myself. So we build the program with the device and the first application will be picking up my kids toys. And this is the story behind it. So what, what was your background that enabled you to say, I'm, I'm going to do this? I, I, I'm an ent entrepreneur for, for quite a long time. Uh, I have a very extensive uh, background on digital products, uh, mostly on SaaS, software as a service, uh, and consumer services and consumer products. And together with my two co-founders, Dr. Ellie Kohlberg, who headed the robotic uh, department in Barlan University, and my dear partner, Martin Gordon, who is an extremely talented software developer and product manager, we decided to build a team. Currently, it's 20 people team. It's a team of 20 um, uh, to build this product, this environment, this platform to help other people as an infrastructure build their products on our platform. Now, do you envision this fitting into the smart home ecosystem, working with the, the voice control, the Googles, Apples, Alexas, and, and everything else? For sure, for sure. By the time the first people will get their Gary in spring 2022. I believe that Gary will be able to communicate at least on a basic level with either Alexa or Siri or Google Home devices. So we definitely design and build it in order to communicate with other IoT uh, smart home appliances in order to optimize its activities. Now you're... you're... I guess raising funds at the, at the same time as you're taking the, the, the orders here. That's what that's intended to do uh, like other, like other crowdfunded things. So tell me how certain it is, what consumers, how, why should consumers have faith that this is going to be a real product? So first of all, it is a real product. Uh, they can follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and see how we build it and how Gary actually evolves from just uh, wires into a real product, the real thing. We are totally transparent with the people who already registered to the waiting list. We always, um, we, we make sure to update them with the progress and make sure to make them realize that they are part of something really, really big happening right now. And they can also track the way we develop Gary. The platform is already available and developers already building products on the platform 
it's true that they don't have the physical Gary, but we built them a simulator, a 3D simulator, a real home on which they can actually practice how Gary interacts and acts in the home environment. So they are already building apps on, on Gary. Um, but they, I, I invite everybody who has a, even a slight suspicious or, or a doubt to contact me directly, whether through my Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter account, and I'll be more than happy to be transparent and share the status and, and the delivery progress. Well, where can people go to follow what you're doing and to get more info, maybe even to send in money to, for a pre-order? Okay, so the basic place will be visiting our website. It's www.unlimitedrobotics.com. And you can find most of the information over there. We already have a podcast that is designed for anybody who's interested in robotics. And we hope to place uh, our interview there as well. Um, and on our Twitter account, Facebook account, LinkedIn account, Gary also have a TikTok account if there's anybody interested. And over there, we provide all the information and that we can provide, um, hopefully, hoping that people will relate to the concept of building something that is part of the near future. Um, yes. And you, you mentioned it before, just in, in closing here. The value of something like this to people who might have disabilities or people who are aging at home, tell me, tell me what your thoughts are. So we are meeting a lot of different people with physical disabilities that are prevented from, I'll give you an example, somebody is calling at the door bringing the delivery, the grocery to the, to the door. Now, the person with the wheelchair sometimes is having troubles to go to the door, taking out the bags, taking out from the bags, the different types of products and locate them on the different places around the house. Gary can definitely help with that. For the elderly, Gary can measure temperature, can provide to their doctor different types of physical situation, or, or create some kind of telemedicine with their doctor because Gary has cameras, Gary has a Wi-Fi. It can communicate obviously with uh, the person and the doctor and the physician. And it can also do different types of physical activities with the elderly population. For example, a very basic sport exercises. Yes, he would not be your gym instructor, but still he can improve your day-to-day -day capabilities and leave you, at least leave you to handle what you like to do, focusing on the boring, repetitive day-to-day -day acts like taking stuff out of the, the dishwasher, taking stuff out, uh, watering the plants. This is something that the elderly population and sometimes people with physical disabilities see as a great challenge that Gary can solve quite easily. Once again, the website is unlimitedrobotics.com. Guy Altigar, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Fred. It was so pleasure talking to you and, and such an intelligent set of questions. Thank you so much. <laughs>